In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to reduce your PSD file from this to this. So we just saved around 322 MB from this project. And note that we are not going to be sacrificing resolution or image quality. I'm Joseph from Josie Concept. Without any further ado, let's get started. Welcome back to today's video. So let's go on and create a new document. Um, I'm going to be working with 2000 by 2000 pixels and my resolution is going to be 500. So let's create this. And for this project, I'm going to be making use of the Benny Optics Plus library for references. So I think this file actually has a lot of heavy images in it. So if I see this around 1 MB, it's around 12 MB. So I'm not going to select all of these and drag it to Photoshop. So I'm just going to press enter all of them. I'm going to hold on enter so that the image will load. So the image is downloading and uh, let me check my layer count and you can see here, let's go to document size, um, document profile. So you can see I still have my 500 pixels my 500 resolution intact and my 2000 pixel so i'm going to turn on my layer count so this is my layer count so i have over 17 layers here so i'm still going to drop another one so let me select this combo presets select them and drag them into photoshop so you can see this is a total of 196 MB. so i'm just going to do the same step by holding on enter so it's done placing now you can see i have a total of 28 layers here so i'm not going to come over here and save this i'm going to save this i'm going to be saving this as test I'm going to save this as test and you can see it's saving it's done saving so let me open the properties so you can see it here is 450 mb so you can see it here this is the selected file 450 mb so you can see this is the selected file 450 mb so i'm going to be showing you a secret method or though not a secret method rather i'm going to be showing you the best way on how to import files into your project and to make the file size less and i'm going to be explaining the advantages and also the disadvantages of it so in this case we're going to be making use or we're going to make use of the place link rather than dragging or importing our images directly so let me create a new, let me create a new project same size same resolution i'm going to create this Oh. So what a place linked file actually means is that it creates a pixel preview of your linked file inside, inside your parent file and then creating a dynamic link in your linked file. So those two files will always be separated and the icon in your layer will look like a little like a little link chain. So let me do an example of it. So I'm not going to come over here, place link, and I'm going to be making use of the same image. Let's make use of the same so i'm going to be placing them so i think this is going to actually take i can't actually select them all so you have to select them once i'm going to speed up this video i'm going to speed up this part of selecting the image So as you can see, I'm done placing these files and you can see the link chain I was talking about. You can see the link chain. To go ahead, I'm just going to go ahead and place the other files in it. So this is the combo preset. I'm going to place it. So you can see it's done placing and we have a total of 28 layers here and 
same with say you have a lot of things here so let me just quickly do a quick explanation on what's the disadvantage of a place link so the disadvantage of a place link is that whenever you place a file as a linked file you need to have the file directly in your pc you need to have the file either your storage device which is your hard drive or your hard disk or whatever storage device you use you have you need to have it connected to your pc so whenever you open that file you see an error like this let me just go ahead and save this file let me just go ahead and save this file so i'm going to be saving it as test test one then i'm saving it as test one in my test folder i'm going to be saving it as test one so you can see it's done saving it's still saving so it's done saving so let me show you what i mean by you need the file in your storage device just go ahead and delete all these files here i'm going to delete them completely by holding shift and delete so let me just delete the files permanently for my pc you can see the folder is totally empty so let me cancel this and open it back so let me open it back go research project it is test one so you can see it has some issues here you can't cannot locate linked assets cannot locate linked assets so let me just go ahead and um, edit this so for mac users you won't be able to edit your file you won't be able to edit your file to show an error pop up on it so i'm just going to cancel this i'm just going to cancel i'm not going to save this and i'm going to show you the before and the after so this is my test folder this is the one I did with the linked image and this is the one I dragged in all my images directly into Photoshop. So this is a perfect way on how to, actually if you're working on a heavy project, this is a perfect way on how to save your storage space and how to minimize it. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Don't forget to like this video and also leave a comment in the comment section. I'm Joseph from Jesse Concept. See you in the next video.